We are going to show you a hidden gem here in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. What? There's hammocks? No way! That's actually sick. Whoa, this is so cool. Now, here's the thing. Whether you've been living RV life for just a couple of months, or maybe you've been full-time on the road for years and years, every once in a while, it is nice to have something that feels a little bit more like a vacation versus your just typical membership state park type of campground. And this campground that we've been at for the last week is definitely on that vacation side. It's got some great things that we're gonna show you in this video, you wanna stay tuned. The name of this campground is called Romestead, and it is just outside of the Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge area in Tennessee. Now, one of the things that I really like about this campground, and I know it's gonna seem silly, but when you've been in your RV for as long as we've been in our RV, sometimes just the little things make all the difference. So one of the things that they do here is just a daily trash run. So you just take your trash, you set it outside of your RV in the morning between eight and 10, and they come take it to the dumpster for you. I know that sounds like a little thing, but like that's not something you typically get at your state park or any other RV park. It's just part of the experience that makes it feel a little bit more like a vacation. You know what that is right over there? Right there? No. Yep. You wanna go check it out? No. Nope. So now one of the great things about this particular campground is it's more than just a campground. So while they do have sites that have full hookups, they have also sites with partial hookups, water and electric. There are a lot of cabins that you can stay in. They have yurts available, they have tent sites, and then they have an actual lodge. So it feels more like of a hotel. So this is actually a great place to come if you have an RV, maybe you have friends and family that don't have an RV, but y'all wanna be able to get together and meet up and just kind of have some family time, family vacation maybe, family reunion. This is a great place to do it where everybody can have their own space regardless of if those friends and family are RVers. So probably one of the most unique things, actually there's really two things that are super unique about this particular campground is that one, they actually have an Airstream that you can rent. So maybe you're considering RV life, maybe you're even considering purchasing an Airstream, but you wanna stay in one first, you can do that here. It's a really cool rental Airstream that they have. The other thing that's very, very unique is that one of their cabins, that's a little bit of a larger cabin, was actually built in the 1800s. Now, of course, it's been renovated to have modern conveniences, but where else can you stay in a cabin that was built in the 1800s. Super cool, unique little find that you have here at Romestead. So there's a lot of attention to detail here at the Romestead. This little area is probably one of my favorite areas where you've just got like some hammock swing things that you can just sit and chillax. Ben and I last night were sitting around, they've got gas fire pits located throughout multiple areas of the campground. They also have your amenities that you would expect at a typical campground, such as a swimming pool, a playground for the kids, some different kid activities. They have like a little climbing wall and you know, lots of areas that you can put out your cornhole games and things like that. Now, one of the things I wanna mention is the camp sites here are very, very, very spacious. Cause this thing is huge, really. So our RV is here, right? Our car is way over here, the expedition. But check this out. This back here, this is still our campsite. So this whole area back in here, the picnic table, the firing, this is all our campsite. Like, I actually think that maybe we got one of the biggest campsites here. But this thing is, look at the space. Huge, it's huge. You could easily, set up your you know, gazelle outdoor tent, your clam, any of that stuff that you want to then 
set up on your campsite, plenty of space on the campsites. They're very, very spacious. So now here's one of the reasons I personally love being able to travel in our RV. And that is a little concept I call my bed, my pillow. <laughs> and speaking of my bed, we have the same mattress at the Glamper Hideaway that we do in our RV. And we recently upgraded to a larger RV king size in the RV. And so we're loving that it really makes our RV feel even more like home because this really is home for us when we are out on the road. RVmattress.com offers a broad selection of mattress sizes and dimensions to accommodate nearly any RV bedding requirement. And their mattresses are conveniently packaged in compact, rolled boxes, which makes installation in an RV super easy, especially when it comes to fitting it through those narrow RV doors or hallways. All of their mattresses are shipped quickly and free from their Arizona factory. Now, they also just added a new option, the Titan Plus, which gives extra support and durability for those of larger stature. And the Titan Plus now comes in nine RV sizes. Another benefit of choosing RVmattress.com is its affiliation with Brooklyn Bedding, which provides an extensive range of bedding options for both home and RV use. In fact, a lot of people ask us where we got our sheets. Well, Brooklyn Bedding. They offer a generous 10-year warranty on their mattresses and a 120-night sleep trial to ensure customer satisfaction. You can visit rvmattress.com forward slash grateful to save 25% off with the code grateful. And there'll be a link in all of those details in the description below as well. And a huge thanks to RV Mattress for sponsoring this video and their continued support of this channel. Roamstead Campground is really kind of trying to be that campground meets boutique hotel type of feel so i've never seen this at any other campground before but they actually in the mornings offer free coffee and a free light breakfast so they have granola just some light breakfast type pastries that are all complimentary in the morning so if you get up in the morning you don't want to make coffee maybe you're tent camping or you're in one of the yurts you can just come over to the lodge they also have a coffee bar at the lodge so Got myself a little latte, complimentary chocolate chip cookies. It is amazing. And the other thing that I love about this is that they also have basically like a cafe in the lodge as well. So when we first got here, you know, if you've done this at all, how it is after a long travel day, you've traveled all day long, you finally get to your campsite. The last thing you really wanna do is cook dinner. And so we actually sent the kids here over to the lodge right behind me, had them order a pizza, bring it back to the RV, dinner is served. Makes it super easy and it just takes the stress out of that long travel day after getting set up at your campsite. So up in the yurt area, there's separate just bathrooms, but down here you actually have like a full bathhouse and showers and they are really nice showers, really, really nice. The other thing that is very, very different about this campground than pretty much any other campground that we've stayed at, they actually have good Wi-Fi that works. Yes, Ben was actually talking with one of the campground employees. They have fiber up here. Don't even get us started on that because we're really envious of not having fiber at the hideaway, but I digress. They have Wi-Fi and it's strong and the signal works and it's actually usable first time. And I can't tell you how long that we've run into a campground with good Wi-Fi. So I am going to put a link in the description. If you're interested in booking, I would definitely take advantage of it. Get the whole family together, get a cabin, but you definitely want to check this place out. Put it on your travel list at some point, especially Smoky Mountain National Park. We know a lot of you want to hit the national parks like we have. Put that on your list. I'm going to leave a video right up here about some do's and don'ts when you do stay at a campground, especially if you're newer to this lifestyle. So